Platinum Jubilee celebrations continue in the UK. Queen Elizabeth is the longest reigning British monarch and in just two years could extend that title to all of Europe. But today's festivities were missing the honored guest with the Queen opting out due to, quote, discomfort. News Nation's Sloane Glass joining us now. And Sloane, the 96-year-old queen has been scaling back quite a bit lately. That's right, Nicole. And this is the weekend the UK celebrates the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year. An unprecedented 70 years on the throne, the 96-year-old queen skipped this morning's church service at St. Paul's Cathedral in London, and now she won't be attending her favorite horse race. But that doesn't mean the celebrations have stopped. It's become the unspoken undercurrent of the celebrations, the Queen's declining health. Thursday, the Queen moved slowly and with some difficulty outside her home in Windsor Castle. A spokesperson says the 96-year-old monarch withdrew from Friday's festivities after experiencing discomfort. Brits addressing her absence with humor. Bless her. So she does need a rest. It was a big day yesterday. So I'm assuming she had a little bit too much port <laughs> at the concert. <laughs> Couldn't make yeah, it today. <laughs> today, the Queen is missing her favorite horse race, the Epsom Derby. An absent Queen means her successor, Charles, the Prince of Wales, stepping into a more prominent role, a symbol of the quiet transition of power. Nicole, it's hard to imagine the monarch without the beloved queen, but according to YouGov, 6 in 10 Britons think Britain should continue to have a monarchy in the future, with only 22% saying the country should move to having an elected head of state instead. All right, Sloan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.